Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me I have Shane. Shane is 42 years old and has been having chronic knee pain. He's had it for quite a long time, right? Yeah. And it flared up when you had this little episode where you kind of did a little sprint, yeah. tried to get some cover from the rain, and um, had some pain, especially around the lateral aspect of the patella. And um, it's really been bothering you ever since, right? Yep. And what do you like to do for hobbies? Uh, hiking camping, all that, get outside. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and talk to me about like hiking. Do you have a problem on level surfaces? Not usually, no. It's when I'm going up or going down, you know, hiking the mountain or whatnot, coming back down, I get knee pain on both sides here, so. Okay, so, you know, a lot of deceleration, and it's usually associated with some sort of activity where your foot's on the floor, correct? Yeah. Okay, so just for the sake of time, I'm gonna get right into the video. He's had no, um, we're into the evaluation. He's had no episodes of giving way. No instability. He used to play uh, baseball and was a catcher for how many years? Uh, 20. 20 years yeah. of being in a squatted position uh, for a long period of time, which has probably contributed to this, okay? So we need to kind of remember that. Um, I'm going to start off with a physical exam, then I'm going to have him do some functional squatting, and then we'll talk about the treatment, okay? So let's have you lie right down, Shane, if you would. So the first thing I do is I check to see if he has any warmth to the knee. And there really isn't, okay, on the left compared to the right, maybe a tad bit. Uh, the next thing I do is a brush test to identify if he has an effusion, and he does not. Okay, that's negative. I'm curious, his, he points to his pain as being on the outside of the knee here, so there are many sources of, of discomfort on the outside of the knee. I'm going to try to rule out the meniscus, okay, so I, I give him hyperextension, he has no pain with that. I take him to full flexion, he has no pain with that, so full flexion would cause him posterior meniscal horn discomfort, extension would cause anterior horn discomfort, and he doesn't have any of that. He has no tenderness to the tibial tubercle, no tenderness to the patella tendon, prepatella bursa, not painful, okay, I'm going to check his medial capsule, medial collateral, no instability and no pain, lateral capsule, Lateral collateral, no instability and no pain there. Okay, I'm going to check his ACL, do a quick Lockman. So I need you to really relax, let that leg be real heavy. And I have a nice little end point right there. And he has a negative sag sign, nothing going on there. All right, so when we start poking around here, we get to this lateral side of his knee. So we're going to check his IT band. So I'm going to place my finger right on the femoral condyle, I'm going to flex him and extend him, and I don't feel anything snapping there. He has no pain with that. He has no pain to palpate. There's no joint line tenderness there. So we're starting to think, what is going on with this guy, okay? So I'm going to do a little patella grinder Clark sign. So I want you to, slow, I'm going to hold his patella down just lightly. I don't do this really hard because that can be very painful. And I'm going to have you tighten up that muscle for me slowly. Any pain with that? No. Okay, so no pain with that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to palpate around his kneecap. There's no tenderness to the medial side of the kneecap. His plica, which is right here, is non-painful. And so I'm going to go to the lateral side to find that he's very tender yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't like that at all. Now if I take it, if I go above it and I push his kneecap inward, how painful is that? Yeah, not bad, but I can feel it. There's some discomfort there from stretching the lateral retinaculum here, but when I palpate the lateral side of the patella and the lateral femoral condyle, that's very painful right yeah. there. You can see how he jumps. Um, so he has signs of lateral patella compression syndrome. Now if I take his kneecap, try to push it inward, I'm really not getting a good glide here, okay? So I'm really thinking this is more of a patella femoral dysfunction, lateral patella compression syndrome. I'm gonna ask him to stand for me and we're gonna watch him squat now. And this will give us some idea of functionally how he's looking. So I want you to keep your feet, get your shoulder width apart, okay? And I want you to go ahead and give me a squat. And you're going to notice that his feet collapse, his knees start to go into a little bit of valgus, increasing that Q angle and increasing that lateral patella compression here. So I'm going to have you go back up for me, and, uh, and I'm going to have you do it again one more time. 
and back up. Okay, now let's try it with just one leg. So try it with this one. Okay. And you'll notice that as he bears weight just with one leg, he collapses even more. Yep. Okay, and he doesn't really have good strength there. So what we're going to do, and you can have a seat back here, Shane. What we're going to do with him is we're going to try to take care of some of the biomechanics with an orthotic on this side because he has a pes play in his foot. We're going to increase the flexibility of the IT band, which we tested before the video. So he's very tight in the IT band, very tight in the hamstrings, and extremely tight in the gastroxoleus complex, which is why he has this really poor um, functional squat. We are going to work on re-educating that quad muscle to fire up better so that it holds his patella in the groove better. I'm going to mobilize his patella and I'm also going to put him into an orthotic um, just to help hold him up. And when we do his squatting activities, we're going to put him on a wedge so that we lift the medial side a little bit just to keep his uh, patellofemoral joint in better alignment when we're trying to get this to contract. So a hefty home exercise program on flexibility and we're going to work with him in here on re-strengthening that quad and uh, getting some functional uh, work back. So folks, if you have any questions about this, please leave a, um, a note in our comments section. And, um, you know, check out our playlist on knee dysfunction. We have multiple knee issues. And um, if um, you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.